Do not let your opponent complete third and medium range, so third and five here, by hitting you up with a speed out just like that or any type of smart route or out route, especially if they know you're in a cover three. We're going to disguise the cover three to where you can get picks like that. We're going to take your doo-doo cover three, your average cover three, weekend league type of cover three, and really make it advanced with these tips. So let's get into it. Ready to dominate Weekend League? Head on over to MaddenTurf.com for all the ebooks, tips, memberships, everything you need to start heading on that road to top 100. Turf team, route combo here. We're going to bring you a great tip on how to destroy smart route out routes. Anybody that has any type of cover, uh, cover three beaters, we're going to show cover three, but we're going to invert it. We're going to do a few different advanced adjustments to make cover three glitchy and very difficult. Uh, difficult for your opponent to to pass the ball, to run the ball. It's out of uh, Big Nickel over G that we're running this, and Big Nickel over G is in pretty much every single every single playbook on defense. So you, we got that covered, and this coverage defense is phenomenal. It's fabulous. And any type of player who sees the cover three look. They have the cover three beater. So we're going to show them the cover three look on purpose, which means we have one high safety, and we are going to get glitchy with the adjustments after that. So I cannot wait to show you that. And let's get to a couple comments, though. We got a couple great comments here from our boys. And this video came about because our, our, our guy Toby said, how do you stop the out routes in Madden? So especially if you're a newer player or an average player, if people come out and see a cover three look, they love to smart route out routes, right? Which is okay. It, it's it's a good concept. It really is. So we're going to show how to really lock that up. So, I, so that's a great question, Toby, and that inspired this video. So you are the man. Everybody give Toby a round of applause for me. Smash that like button. I appreciate it for you, YouTube algorithm because you're going to like this video. The next comment, the last comment, is from our boy Cade. He says, went 15-0 and in Weekend League, or went 15 and uh, I guess 15 and 10 in weekend league on a weekly basis. And in the last two weeks, I've been watching you, and I now have 19 to 20 wins. My man, Cade, goes from 15 wins to 19 to 20. That's what I like to see. I just want to get y'all better at Madden for this year going forward, and I think you're gonna like this tip as well. So be sure to smash that like button. Let's try to get, let's try to get 100 likes. I don't get 100 likes on my videos. We can get 100 likes. I'm challenging you. To help us get there and also leave a comment on what tip you would like to see next what are you struggling with or what do you want to see to uh to, to stop and i'll bring that to you once again toby had a fire question and he is being rewarded with a great video i think it's a great video so we'll see you on the six let's get to it you see your opponent come out in a cover three shell because there's one high safety so you go to your cover three beater as you can see i'm in a one high safety look so he's going to come, go out to a, a, a smart route, out route, second and long, second and 17. He thinks it's going to be open. But I'm going to show you how to invert your defense. I'm also going to show you advanced, advanced techniques to where you want to show that you're in a cover three. But we are going to destroy the opponent because post-snap, it's not going to be there. They're going to be seeing ghost. Bang, bang, turf team. All right, we are now in practice mode. And I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm in the pass playbook, so they have it, I believe, out of out of double so um a lot of a lot of newer players uh, love to hit out routes especially when you're in a, a cover three um and then they they would like to have some type of play like this you see the, the player for pa double post on the bottom some type of doubles double set where you have a a skinny post from the slot receiver and what that does is it, it splits the two the two high safeties in a cover two and i'm going to show you exactly what i mean we'll come out and cover three four odd uh, cover four, pinch dog to press, very popular formation uh, and play. And so what you would do here, you would put uh, two out routes and typically smart route them. Um, and you don't have to do anything with this tight end. I'll just block him, right, for whatever reason. But as you can see here, uh, what this on my, my defensive play art here, uh, with cover two, right? So what that means is you got two high safeties. All right, you have two flat zones on the outside outside corners, and then uh, you typically have a couple uh, vert hooks. Sometimes you have also a mid read as well. Um, but as you can see, we we are, we are blitzing a little bit. And so what what the def what the offense likes to do um, if if they feel like you're in a cover two, and so you're taking away those um, those out routes, which this cover two 
Uh, there, there's a difference between between clod flats. There's a difference between the soft squats and then hard flats. So real quickly, let me just start with the basics of you can throw the out routes versus soft squats. And so that's why you're like, man, I'm in a cover two. Like how how are you able to complete that pass? Look at that. Because it's like a it's like a man principle um, in a lot of ways with the soft squats. And so if you are on offense, you want to know, hey, how do I hit, hit these out routes, right? As you can see, the, the corner is, turns his hips and is running with the receiver. Basic football principles, just like in Madden here. So that, so that means a, a quick route that stops is going to be hard for him, like a comeback route, an out route, for him to turn and be able to make a play on the ball. And that, that's my boy from Alabama, Marlon Humphrey. He has a star under underneath him, so he still can't make this play, as you can see. Boom, it's completed. Nice and easy completion. Uh, so, so then, what? What if you're if you're a good defensive player, you're here in cover two, and it's really not the best to try to throw cover, you know, um, out routes versus cover two in general. But you can versus soft squats complete that. I just want to make sure that you are aware of that. So once again, let me just block everybody, put some out routes here, smart route them, and you have that skinny post in the middle. So that skinny post in the middle is going to do a very good job of. Uh, I'm just going to block some some of these defensive linemen so we have time. So as you can see now against these, I was showing you in the replay, but against these these cloud flats, you cannot throw the out route. And I'm going to show you exactly why. But then once again, if you, you know, a lot of average bummy player, you know, I, I like to say bummy players because this is like uh, a lot of people, a lot of people run this um, year after year. I mean, it, it can be effective, uh, but it's not, you know, it, it's not next level effective, right? If you're going against a good player, they're going to lock this up. Um, but as you can see, if they don't have that mid read out there or a deep blue, a middle blue, um, this skinny post is going to get open, right? But if you do want to bag this, just put a, a deep blue, a middle third from one of your middle linebackers, all right? Because the reason why this gets open is both these, these safeties are going to fan out to pass the numbers, um, and that's going to leave this crease in the middle. Now, that is a, a weakness of, of a cover two. Right and real football as well, but this is what I'm saying. Whenever on the soft squat, you got to read, you got to read post snap really quickly, process this information quickly. What is this corner doing? As you can see, he's he's pressing him and then he's backpedaling, right? And his 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 face is towards the quarterback, and so you cannot throw this out route. The out route is he's underneath the out route. That would be a pick every day, all day. Same thing over here, right? As you can see, he's pressed him. He didn't really press him. He kind of faked it. But he, he's looking at the quarterback, so the out route is locked up, right? So <clears throat> so you cannot throw that against a cloud or obviously any type of hard flat. So so that is, that's one way to take away the out route is, is run cover two. But an advanced kind of glitchy way that you can get a ton of picks for, and this is in our, our CC guide that we recently released, um, is this coverage defense. Uh, I like to do it out of big nickel over G. Uh, one thing I like to do is uh, typically your your safe strong safety is here in the slot. I like to put him. I like to put him uh, put a a corner there and put your safety back there, right? But you're gonna run this flipped, okay? And the reason why you run it flipped is for whatever reason with Big Nick Lover G, the the guys can have. Um, we'll just go back to that single back doubles. Uh, the <clears throat> the hot routes can 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 mess up. So and I like to run this inverted okay so let's go back where's that play here pa double post all right so this is a cover three look and if, if you don't know why it looks like a cover three look is because you see there's one high safety in the middle of the field and so that's that's looks like hey this is either going to be a cover one man or it's going to be a cover three zone so pre-snap people have their cover three beaters and a lot of pe people love to uh, love to, um, oops, messed that up. They love to hit, hit, hit out routes with this, right? So what I mean by that is they'll just do this, you know, some, something like this again, okay? So I, I don't think the purple is going to get out there, but just to, just to show you, yeah, no, the purple is not going to get out there. As you can see, he pressed, boom, nice, easy 15-yard completion. He pressed the slot. And so the purple zone is not going to get there, right? And so once again, it's just you and that the, the deep quarter there, um, or deep third, and they're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to come back and, and and get that get that pass. So 
what can you do to bait them into trying to throw this? Because you want them to throw the out route, right? You really want them to throw the out route. All right. So you're going to invert your cover three. So what I mean by that, and it might take you a second, go in practice mode and to learn how to do this. But I like to, you can see it took me two seconds to do that and it's completed. All right. So what did I do there? My outside corner on the left, I put him in a uh, in a cloud, right? I put this <clears throat> this corner in. You can you can put him in either either a deep half or a uh, or an outside third. All right. So if you think they're going to try to bomb you from right to left on a cover three beater. All right, you can put him in a deep half like that to that left, and then it's, he's not gonna get bombed. Um, but what what I like to do is put him here in a uh, <clears throat> in an outside third to the left, right? It's typically what I would do here, and then I like to put because uh, a lot of people like to bomb, especially in this formation. I would say uh, a cover three beater from the left to the right, right? So because you have two receivers over there on that left hand side. <clears throat> so I'm playing cover three here on this left hand side. But I'm using cloud flats for my corners, and that's, that would bait them into the throw. And on the right-hand side, I have a deep half and then a, uh, a cloud flat. So once again, if they, if they, if they see this, they're like, oh, I got, a, I got a cover three bomb or I have a cover three beater. Um, let, let's, I don't really have a, a cover three bomb here from this stock play. But... What, what what they're seeing here pre-snap is what is important. Is they're seeing one high safety, so it looks like cover three, but we're not. We have clouds on our outside guys, and so when I hike the ball, um, they're gonna they're gonna have predetermined read that they're gonna throw this corner out, a uh, little out route, smart route out route, and it's not gonna be there. So once again, the adjustments are really easy. <clears throat> you have to have this. I like to have this. You want to have this play flipped, um, and this is a great stock coverage defense. You're going to put a cloud flat from this outside uh, left corner. And then I put him on an outside third to the left, which is Y, 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 or triangle, triangle, triangle. And then as you can see on the bottom left-hand screen, you can do an outside third to the left, which is left on the left analog stick. Or if you want to do a deep half, then it's right on the left analog stick for the deep half. And as you can see, that is the difference. It looks different just like that. Now, if you do think that they're going to bomb you from right to left, because of cover three, you, there's a lot of bombs in cover three, that's when you want to put this, this slot guy in a deep half. But typically, I invert this left side to a cover three, and then I invert the right side to a cover two shell, right? <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and then I like to put the left D tackle in a spy, and here is a great coverage defense. And if they're kind of hitting you... In, in the middle of the field a little low, I bring the guy in the box a little bit, right? There's not, nothing wrong with that. And I, like, I like to use this guy, and especially if they're in a shotgun and they're doing any type of inside zone, zone from the right to the left, you can shoot this gap right here and blow up inside zone. Boom, just like that. All right, and so that is what I like to do. I didn't mean to call that play there. So that's what I like to do versus, uh, versus people that like to throw out routes. Really, I like to run this defense versus a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff you can run with this defense, but just, just to recap, you want to run this inverted. You want to have the play flipped um, on the on the left-hand side of the screen. Do a clod flat, outside outside third. On the right-hand side, I do a, uh, a cloud flat and a deep half on the right. I like to spy this deep half on the left. You can, if you want, bring this guy down in the box a little bit and user this guy. I have right here Troy, Troy Palomalu. Uh, I have Lurker on him, and it's I run all over the field. So this is a great way to take away, uh, a great way to take away their out routes, but also it's a great way to take away a lot of common cover three beaters. So you can always stay one step ahead of the offense. So that's next level adjustments from your boy RC. I hope you enjoy this. Leave a comment in the comment section below with. Uh, anything else you need. We'll see you on the sticks.